In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get type form notifications. So here I am in my type form. And as you can see, I have already published this one. You can see it here. Now, the thing that I'm going to do in order for us to get notification is just by clicking the settings here. Now, you should see an option here. It says follow ups. Go ahead and click this one. And then we're going to add a new follow up. So I'm going to click this. All right. So it says untitled, but don't worry. We're going to change that one. So we're going to rename this one. So I'm going to call it uh, email notifications, just like so. And then we're going to add a trigger. Now for the trigger, there are different options that you can do here. So first one is going to be what will this trigger follow up? Would it be any response, an ending or a response with conditions? So just basically choose which one you prefer. But say, for example, we're going to choose any response. So basically any response that you're going to receive for your form, you will be notified of it. So that's what will happen. So I'm going to go ahead and click the save button here. All right. It says here conditions for trigger when someone completes my type form. So it is already being set. Now the action is very important. So we're going to go ahead and click this one here in order to add an action. So it says here, what action would you like to trigger? Send an email to respondents. This is of course for paid version and then notify myself or team via email. So this is what I want. So I'm going to click this one and then who will receive this email notification. You make sure that you have typed your email here. If you want to type another, you can just go ahead and type it in here. Now reply to who will receive replies to this email. So of course that particular email. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now, this is very important. You can personalize your email by changing these here. So you can just customize this according to your liking. If you want to add something, just go ahead and tap this one here, and then you will be able to put all information needed in here. But yeah, I'm just not going to change anything here. Um, I'm going to continue and click the save button. All right. So it says here that it is already active. So we're going to go ahead and try this out. So we're going to go back and we're going to click share because we're going to try to submit something. All right, we're going to copy the link and we're going to open an incognito to try to submit an entry here. So we're just going to do this one quite fast. And then I'm going to submit this one. All right, so it is already submitted. We're going to try to open our email. And there you go. You can see that there is a recent email in here. I'm going to go ahead and open this one. And there you go. You can see zero minutes ago. And then if you're going to scroll down here, you should be able to see all the information that that particular person has typed in here. And yep, congratulations, everybody. That is how you're going to get type form notifications.